It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy, the show, 5.45 Live. Tonight, coming up on deck, I don't even know, Joe. That's how haphazard a Monday show it is, so I'll put our fancy... Uh, That's what happens on Mondays, right? <laughs> I'll put on our, 5.42 Live, or no, wait, it's 5.45 Live Put our fancy screen up today. here. Well, Shumlin was in town. Uh, that's uh, certainly news there. We'll talk about uh, a send-off for Larry Smith. Project Feed the Thousands co-founder, he's retiring, and we've got some NYT alumni play action. All that and more. We do it uh, all in 15 minutes, Joe, which is a feat in and of itself. Uh, it is indeed. Though coming up with 15 minutes worth of content in the first place, also a feat. Uh, if you've got the attention span, stick with us. Not too hard to do here. Breathing Lysol and ammonia. Nature didn't intend for poker to be played like that. So next week, either Louis Pasteur cleans up after the game, or we play at the Hotel Dixie. Good night. <laughs> there we go. Welcome back to this uh, June. Boy, I never know the date. I should have you say this part. Uh, June, 11th, June 11th, there June we 11, go. 2012. Edition of 545 Live. Roland Boyden, Joe Bushy, 545, 545 Live. 545 Live, actually 547 Live right now. <laughs> should never put that clock up behind <laughs> us. <laughs> uh, it's a roundup. I like to think of us so maybe a little bit, Joe, as media aggregators scouring the web for all the latest uh, info. We'll get some news on Shumlin, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the roundup, and uh, we've got plenty more as well. Little but Joe. Here, a little scoop there. Well, I'll start off. You went screaming in here down from Old Ferry Road, handed me your Android, and I believe, hopefully, the photos are uh, done copying here yeah, we'll uh, take a from shot at it. your uh, phone here, and we can see uh, exactly what's going on. Let's see if we can uh, get the footage up, and uh, then we'll go ahead and. Uh, oh, what do we got there? Let's take a look here. There we go. So uh, you're up at uh, VY headquarters. And uh, I liked, uh, in addition, Joe, your, your little headline that you sent with me uh, when you uh, sent the first still here. Yeah, what did we call it? There we go. Uh, ten grannies ten break grannies. into VY. <laughs> ten grannies busting the gates. At uh, it again. Shut down, uh, it's the uh, Shut Vermont Yankee Down Affinity Group. Uh, the senior ladies, they've been called grannies. They've been called senior ladies. Uh, all like that. Uh, they're go. at VY. And uh, oh, there we go. They have, uh, oh, they have, uh, Joe, um, promised the community that they will uh, not not stop until Vermont Yankee is closed down. Of course, uh, they were the ones wearing masks at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission public hearing and open house at the high school last month. Uh, a big part of the protests where uh, hundreds were arrested. So we'll keep uh, our eye on them, as I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> Various law enforcement agencies are as well. Uh, we'll get you more information as we know it. But uh, again, hot off the uh, the presses, as it were, flying down here and direct from Old Ferry Road. So hopefully we've got uh, more information for you uh, coming in the future. Uh, where's my? I just wanted to show you the uh, graphic, Joe, of what came up here as we uh, took a look at uh, the the oh, latest. There we go. So. Um, Let's see. Moving on. we uh, try and make this uh, snappy here. Moving on. Governor Shumlin uh, was uh, in Brattleboro on Friday as part of the Brattleboro Area Chamber of Commerce annual gala. Uh, among the many things he was uh, there to talk about, of course, Irene uh, Relief Recovery, the year uh, that Vermont has had, Brattleboro in particular, and how the chamber has helped weather those storms, figurative and literal storms. Uh, but he was also there, Joe, for another reason to honor Larry Smith, longtime uh, WTSA vet, works for uh, Entergy Nuclear, Vermont Yankee, as their spokesperson. And uh, uh, a, a very important thing about Larry Smith, he is the co-founder of Project Feed the Thousands, along with George Haynes. Uh, we've got a clip of him, but first, let's see what uh, Vermont's fair governor has to say about Larry as well. And I say that Larry Smith has done more for the hungry and the homeless and the folks who need us the most than anyone else in this state. And Larry, we honor you tonight for that. <laughs> 
That's footage from uh, 545 Live senior news correspondent Deborah Lazar, who was at the gala to pick up footage of Governor Shumlin honoring uh, longtime community member Larry Smith. He's been in BCTV studios so many times over the years, uh, in part to uh, promote uh, Project Feed the Thousands, the annual fund drive that raises uh, food for needy people all through the community, a need that grows exponentially every year, Joe, and so has this fundraiser that he's put on with uh, Brattleboro Savings and Loan. Continues to help uh, George the Haynes, former uh, director of Brattleboro Savings and Loan. Indeed, uh, this was uh, started now uh, many, many years ago when they uh, called it Project Feed the Thousand because they thought there were a thousand hungry people. Now the number has... Uh, just grown to an overwhelming size, but they've managed to piece together uh, some really impressive funds and food every year during Project Feed the Thousands. Here's Larry talking a little bit about why it's so important to him. This is the most, I think, amazing thing for us is that every single um, canned good, every bag, everything that we do is tangible and is a meal for someone Larry Smith in uh, BCTV's studios. That was a 5.45 live rewind in time uh, to December of 2010 as they promoted their campaign. Well, Joe, graduation season is upon us, and uh, it's uh, only going to get wilder as we uh, talk about events. BCTV's got a couple of uh, big graduation coverages coming up first. Uh, BUHS graduation will be live. Two clicks up the dial on our government and education sister channel, Channel 10. Um, we're going to show it this Friday, starting live at 6.30 p.m. We'll get uh, a little footage of the highly acclaimed BUHS band uh, before the ceremonies, and then we'll get uh, all the coverage of all the grads. Congratulations to them. Uh, in addition, the very next day, Joe, we'll be at Leland and Gray, uh, BCTV's crew, so we'll uh, work... Uh, our butts off on Friday back night, back. and then we'll be up uh, first thing Saturday morning to head out to Leland and Gray and get that graduation uh, as well, which we'll show later in the week uh, on Channel 10 as well. Uh, there's some other schools around the area. Uh, in uh, particular, a senior graduate speech that I was interested in, Joe, came from the Putney School. I stand before you acknowledging my role as the last senior graduation speaker. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, about six months from now, the bottomless shaft of the, abyss, of the abyss will open up and swallow the damned and woeful soul in a cataclysmic orgy of hellfire and judgment. Putney graduation, uh, Putney School in uh, Putney, Vermont, their graduation uh, as we talk. BCTV coverage of graduations. 5.45 Live is on for Friday, 5.45 p.m. right here on uh, Channel 8. We'll go live uh, to the high school uh, and get a uh, broadcast from our 5.45 Live senior news correspondent and BCTV operations manager, Vlasta Papelka. She'll be uh, up on the top of the press box there with the camera. We'll beam her in uh, via our uh, remote drop to uh, get a, a little preview of the graduation. All right, uh, Joe, it's been a haphazard Monday. I'm, I'm glad that you've uh, what else is joined me at the desk. Uh, oh, to, the uh, co-op sign went up today. Did you see that? The new co-op sign. It's going to be... Pictures uh, on Facebook and iBrattabro, for those that missed it. I'm uh, particularly excited, maybe, for some demolition footage that we'll get out of that uh, transition for the community as uh, they're planning on taking that building. The current co-op building down will be a park uh, area included in the new parking lot. Yeah, we'll have course. to film that. Demolition. We, we love demolitions here, as uh, any longtime 545 Live viewers know, I'm sure, by now. Well, uh, Joe, before we uh, head out for the weekend, we I want to promote a couple uh, other things coming up, including uh, the play Vigil put on by the Actors Theater Playhouse that's coming up. Uh, we've uh, got plenty of information, at least I have in my own brain here, but uh, I'd rather hear it from the source. This is the uh, actor... Uh, Actors Theater Playhouse's Greg Tash talking about the event. It's a, um, a two-person play about a malcontent who's had a very tough life. He goes to visit his aunt who um, is dying. And it's about his, um, his relationship to her and how he gets to know her and uh, what happens uh, while he is visiting her. That shows uh, at the Actors Theatre Playhouse in West Chesterfield uh, starting June 14th all the way through July 7th and the benefit night for the AIDS Project of Southern Vermont uh, is on uh, June 13th. So uh, more information at actors-theatre.info. 
uh, if you want to find out more about that. Uh, we're going to um, get more from the AIDS Project of Southern Vermont talking about this benefit and why it's so important to the community. Coming up next week, we're also going to get some folks from another organization in here. Joe, I'll let you plug this one. It has to do with skateboards. We're going to get basic in here next week. We're going to have someone talk about the Go Skateboarding Day, which is going to be held June 21st at the Crow Lot, where there's going to be the future site of the Bradwell Area Skate Park is coming. And there will be prizes, there will be competitions, there will be music, there will be not loud music. Uh, and we're going to have a good time. There will be a lot of skaters there. You can find out a lot of information about the future skate park that's coming. And that's June 20, 21st at the Crow Lot in Brattleboro. Uh, it's most of the afternoon. You can check on our BrattleboroSkatePark.com website for more details or on our Facebook page. And uh, make sure you stop by. Okay, support the skate park. What else we got? Our next regularly scheduled broadcast uh, is in just 48 hours or uh, 47 hours and uh, change. Uh, we'll be back right here at this desk, uh, 5.45 p.m. Uh, mm. This here, Channel 8, uh, local programming, PEG TV, BC TV that you're watching now. If you want to find out about other things coming up on BC TV in the interim, uh, and there's plenty to go around. I know that uh, 545 Live may seem like the best show ever, but there's lots of good local programming on BC TV. Uh, find out at brattlebrotv.org, live streaming for both channels, video on demand for all local programming. We've got a, a year's worth of archived video up there at this point, and of course, complete schedules for both channels. All there, brattlebrotv.org again. All right, that's enough shameless self promotion, Joe. <coughs> what Thanks else for can we promote. WVEW, you could. WVEW back on the air, coming back, back to life. Joe's saying it all, uh, partners in community radio, uh, or community media, I should say, uh, the community radio station, WVEW, uh, is back on the air. So uh, as you support us by watching us, support them by listening them, WVEW.org. You can stream it uh, if you don't have a radio, uh, or take a listen uh, in your car, my favorite place to listen to it. All right, Joe, thanks for joining me at the desk for a haphazard Monday, making it a little better, and for driving that footage down from Let Vermont us know. Yankee Roll headquarters. Let at BrattleboroTV.org. Yes, tell us what you want to see. If you don't agree with something, tell us. Uh, if you really particularly like something we're doing, tell us as well. We want to hear feedback, uh, ideas, suggestions. Uh, it all flies here on BCTV, as is the mandate uh, and the mission, the goal, and the dream of uh, community media and public access show, television. Let us know. We'd love to have some fresh so faces on here. All right, uh, that's enough uh, chit-chat shenanigans here. Uh, I'll queue up our uh, end credits. We got this, uh, some uh, outtakes from uh, that, uh, maybe not outtakes, but uh, some humorous comments from our humorous governor at that gala. Again, thanks to Deborah Lazar, who taped that, a content specialist. Everybody else that makes 545 Live tick the way it does, including Gloucester Papelka, who... Uh, Whips me into shape on a daily basis, which is certainly something that needs to happen. Uh, to all of you out there who watch 545 Live, that's a, a pretty important thing to say. Thanks for Joe. Uh, we'll, we'll be back here Wednesday. Thanks again for checking in with me here at the desk, making it a little more lively. I'm Roland Boyden, alongside Joe Bushy. We're on BCTV Channel 8. The show's 545 Live. Night, everybody. I'm going to say a word about Larry. And it's such an honor to be here. And I'm not going to give you a long speech because I know I'm between you and dinner and it's an election. <laughs> Larry Smith was active radio before he became radioactive. <laughs> you know, what I love about Larry Smith is that for 30 years at WTSA and 15 years at VY, he would get up every day on the wrong side of the river and pay income taxes to the state. <laughs> and you know, I'm willing to wager that he paid us more in the 15 years than he paid us in the 30. Right? <laughs> 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 <laughs>